What have you done to her? Me? Nothing. You've been using that wicked charm of yours again. Oh, yeah, very funny. All oh, these drinks are in there, by the way. And uh, I'll get one while you can, because something tells me you won't be staying for very long. Yeah, Holly and Mum. They've been chatting most of the afternoons, all very cosy, very secretive. And I wonder what they've been talking about. Any ideas? I was hoping they were going to change her mind. I didn't think she was going to go through with it. Well, it looks like you were wrong, doesn't it? I wondered where you disappeared to. Well, come in and close the door. I've got something to tell you. Yeah, and uh, I think I know what it's about. Do you? Duncan told me you've been talking to your mum all afternoon. Yeah, I told her. How did she take it? Not bad. You were wrong about her. Oh, it's early days, yeah. Why did you come here, Susie? I wanted to see whether you'd go through with it. Well, as you can see, I did. Look, I had to tell my mum. You do see that, don't you? No, as a matter of fact. Well, it doesn't have to change anything between us because my mum knows, does it? Of course it changes things. Well, why? I never realised how important your family was to you. But, well, over the last few weeks, I've seen how you all are together. I'd just hate it if they started to blame me for the way things have worked out. Oh, don't be ridiculous. They wouldn't blame you. Well, I'm not going to give them the chance. What do you mean? It's over, Holly. You might be Susie. Tell me. Does our relationship mean nothing to you? Look, this isn't doing us any good. I'm going. No, wait, you can't go. I thought we had something. I mean, I came out. Don't say you came out for me. You came out for yourself. I didn't ask you to. In fact, I told you not to. All right, I'm sorry. But that's no reason to end everything. I mean, can't you just change your mind? No. How can you be so cold? Oh. Why are you being like this? I'm out of here. No, look, just wait. We can talk about this. There is nothing more to say. I'm going. I've decided I'm moving back to my house, my home. So I'll remove my stuff from Maria's. Why? Look. Take care. I'll see you later. You're making the biggest mistake of your life. This is really stupid. Stay up. Nothing. What were you rowing about? It's nothing important. God, silly, really. We'll get over it. <laughs> What's up? Oh, nothing. Just, just wonder where you got to, that's all. No, that's not all. Your dad's worried about you. He wondered what we've been talking about. But you didn't tell him? No, no, but I would like you to tell him. Mm. Sooner rather than later, before he finds out from someone else. My dad, that'll happen. Darling, you're going out with Susie. People are going to begin to notice. You won't be able to keep it a secret for long. I know, I know, Mum, but I need more time. I need time to think. All right. Well, I'll go along with you for a while, but I don't like having to lie to you, Dad. It's not fair, so don't take too long to think things over. Duncan, we had a one-night stand. I'd love to talk to my gran, but whether she'll understand or not is a different matter. In her day, you were locked up for expressing the kind of feelings I'm having. Mind you, I suppose she has had to become a bit more broad-minded since Grandpa left. But even so... Would you fancy telling your gran that you're gay? Don't mind you moving back in. Your father just... I just can't understand why you're so restless these days, that's all. Mm. Nothing changes, then. Well, he doesn't have all the facts. Yeah, well, facts or, or no facts, he wouldn't appreciate what I'm going through. No one does. Hang on, I think there's a few things you don't appreciate. Uh, like? Well, like, uh, I haven't spent my entire life barefoot and pregnant. I have seen something of the real world. Well, I can't believe that, that you would have no reservations about me being a lesbian. You see, I can't actually say the word without coming out in a rash. And my happiness is all that really matters. I want all of you to be happy, however you live your lives. I mean, my only concern oh. is... No. My only concern is the prejudice you might encounter. Which brings us back to Dad. Well, I can't put off telling him much longer. No. I'd hate for him to find out through somebody else. Well, it certainly wouldn't help things. <sighs> well, do you think it would help if I made it plain to him from the start that I still want to have kids? Ah, uh, I'd keep it as simple as possible. Break it to him gently. Let him get used to the idea. I mean, any mention of babies would just... Would just what? Don't tell me you've told Holly what we've been talking about in private. We weren't talking about you. Oh, great. 
You can't talk to me about wanting another baby, but the first chance you, you get... want another baby? No. No, I mean, no, we weren't talking about that. No, it doesn't matter. Well, I'm supposed to be getting an early start. I've got all that stuff to pick up before I go to the site. I can't get near the bathroom. Well, have you got a spare moment, then? Are you still in there, Dad? Dad, do you want a coffee? Oh, this is always... I'm going to have to come back and shave when Loverboy's finished. Oh, before you go, we need to have a word. Well, if it's quick, I've got to get going. Well, I, actually, I'm running late myself. I better go and get ready. Oh, Holly. No, I've got a meeting with Maria and Susie at the log. <laughs> Who'd want to be a businesswoman, eh? Well? Nothing that can't work. A bit too ambitious. What? Grab a granny in Duncan's love night. It's blind demand, isn't it? Oh, don't. You just sounded like Pete, then. Well, that is the nearest you're going to get to hearing from him these days. Thankfully. Look, I know Annie had her doubts about your plan, but... But it worked. Well, I was going to say it was worth it, every penny. So, no regrets then? No! I've got my life back, haven't I? Mm. I feel like a new woman. It makes such a difference knowing that I can trust you and Holly with my business. You so you should. That's what partnership's all about. I mean, in a way I never could with Pete or anybody else. I'm happy to let you two take charge. You make a great team. Sorry, I got caught up at home. Where's Maria? At the wholesalers. Well, how long is she going to be? Well, a while yet. She's only just left. Well, what about the meeting? I've done that. What? You didn't miss much. Just a few details on Duncan's club night tomorrow. No big deal. Oh, even so, I... you did your bit. What? Duncan. You did tell him that I was playing instead of his man. Didn't you? I forgot. Oh, great. Oh, sorry, I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, obviously not work, though. No, no, I'll tell him. I'll tell him straight away, I promise. Well, I hope so. I've had enough of Duncan breathing down my neck. Yeah, I said I'll tell him. Maria was only just saying this morning what a great team she thought we were. She trusts us, Holly. I'd hate to think that we might let her down. Oh, oh Holly, yeah. Uh, hi, Mum. You got back late last night. Yeah, we had a couple of lovebirds in the restaurant who wouldn't leave. Oh, how annoying. Yeah. <laughs> well, are you waiting up for me or something? Um, not exactly. Well, what do you mean? Your father knows. He found out last night. How? Who told him? Duncan. I'll kill him! Oh, you can't blame him. You should have put it together and told your father yourself. I know! It should but... never have come to this. Oh, God. Well, how did he take it? Not well, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Duncan thought your dad already knew. Uh, we've been having an argument about something, and your dad was in a half, and then he ran into Duncan. And it wasn't your brother's fault. So where's dad now? I don't know. When I woke up, he'd gone. Oh, that's not a good sign, is it? Not really, love. But you know what he's like. I mean, it was always going to be difficult. Yeah, but now it's going to be even worse because of the way he's found out. Mm. Okay, well, I'll come by later then and face the music. I think you better. I think all the health risks and there are plenty of alternatives, aren't yeah. there? Mm. Just, I'm just not quite sure what's best. I need to talk to Chris if I can find him. Yeah. Hiya. Oh, hi. Very impressive. Yeah, it's going to be great. Hiya. Hi. Uh, actually, I wanted to get your opinion on something. I, uh, got this for Holly as a peace offering. Do you think she'll like it? That's hard to say. Oh, you don't look too sure. Well, you think you know someone as well as you know yourself, and then it turns out not to be the case. Oh, well. Maybe it's not the right thing for her, then. For the bouncers? Yep. And the music sorted? Of course. Right. Well, I think that's almost everything, then. Look, why don't you relax? You look a little bit stressed. Yeah, well, I've got a lot on my mind, that's all. It's going to be fine. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, well, that's all right, then. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's OK. Look, when are you off to see your old man? Now, I think. Oh, um, have we got any more spring water anywhere? Yeah, I think there's some up the back. Don't worry, I'll go. Right. Oh. Yep. Look, I know this is really difficult for you. No hard feelings, hey? No, of course not. You're gonna be okay. I'm not really sure. Good luck. Thanks. Is he here? He's in the kitchen. How angry is he? Oh, you know 
what he's like. Yeah, I do. 